Hi there. So I am still, I'm, I'm like 98% better. I'm, I'm right there at the goalpost. But every once in a while, my voice goes super deep. And like, I lose my voice. And it's weird and annoying. And um, it's dumb, you know, but I'm it's just this. It's just been this last month. I've hated it so much just being sick and not feeling great and all of that. Um, and now I wanted to talk about the future of something. So in um, the year in review video, we did announce that we were going to be doing season two of Food Finds. And that was something that after I think even after I did the first episode, I was like, I want to do this again. Like, it was just so fun finding the new businesses and saying, hey, this is what we're going to do. Can you please help us out and all that? And just saying, okay, we're going to do this together. And loved it. Absolutely loved doing that. Um, and, you know, there were some negative sides to food finds. Don't get me wrong. Um, and there are definitely sides that if, you know, when we do season two, I want to look back and I go... I am not going to do like that anymore. That was garbage in my opinion. Um, so there's there's always ways to improve. And if you're not looking for ways to improve, then it, probably something wrong is happening. Um, but one thing I wanted to talk about is uh, the fact that I don't have smell or taste right now. And that's been frustrating, I think. I thought it was going to be a lot more frustrating, and luckily it hasn't been. Um, it's been, it, it was upsetting the first couple of weeks. I was like super depressed because like I didn't want to eat anything because that's always been this great joy in my life to eat something and taste it. And um, it's almost like every time is a special, special event you know you could go to mcdonald's 30 times and every single time it can taste just a little different oh that was that was one of the better times you know whatever and not having taste at all is it's frustrating and smell especially i think it was two weeks into all of this and my mom had made uh, a roast beef you know and i i I always remember going downstairs and smelling it and I wasn't able to this time and that was super upsetting. And it's one of those things. Some people have it far worse. I'm not going to deny that. Uh, but for me, it calls into question what we're going to do about the future of food finds because I'm doing season two. Whether I have no smell or taste, uh, whether I don't have a tongue or don't have arms or legs like season two, three, four, that's happening. I ha have, <laughs> I have such a passion for making these videos and bringing attention to these small businesses who deserve to be heard. Um, and even the ones that don't deserve to be heard, like there's just, I just have so much fun doing it that I'm going to do it regardless, but it definitely calls into question that I'd have to change things up. Um, the way that I'm looking at it currently is I'm pretty much giving it until maybe March or April, um, around March or April is probably when I wanted to start shooting for food finds and like getting in all the different, uh, restaurants and everything. I was shooting it back to back the first season and I don't want to do that again. So doing it in advance would be just, would just wonderful. Um, but if I don't have my taste then we'd go with a different host. I'd have to have somebody else host it because I can't I can't go somewhere and do the whole taste. Like I could look around and say, oh, this is this, but I would probably step back into more of a filming standpoint and editing rather than hosting, um, which stinks because it's me and I'm doing this, you know, and I think I'm good at it and I, I enjoy doing it. So that would, that would stink, but... If it can't happen, then it can't happen. Um, what would most likely happen then is if we had a different host, Food Finds would become its own entity, um, especially if we got to the end of season two and, you know, you never know. I could just not get my taste and smell back. It could just never come back. There, There's plenty of people from the beginning of the pandemic who still do not have their smell or taste back, and that stinks. Um, but 
it's just a reality of how it is. So most likely we're going to judge it based off of like March or April or even May. May is super late. But if we start having another host, then what we're going to do is we're going to start a second channel that is just for food finds going forward in the future. It stinks, but that's just the way it has to go. Because if I'm not hosting it and I'm just filming it, then it needs to become bigger than just me. Then, although it's bringing attention to my channel, it has the growth of its own if it has someone else. Because it's not just me doing it by myself. Now I'm doing it with another person. And um, it, it just it would change the growth. So these are all things I'm considering. I'm just filling you in just to be completely transparent. Because... You know, we're in January, a little after the middle of January, and I don't know exactly what's going on. I know I have a huge list of um, of people I want to talk to and be like, hey, listen, we're doing season two. Would you be interested in being a part of this? Here are the other videos. Um, and it's it'll be interesting to see what the responses are now um, as compared to the first time I was doing it. Because I, I had no reference. We were... We were making something that, um, at least for me, didn't exist. I was like, "Hey, I'm I'm doing this. It's you know this fun little thing where we're coming in and talking to you and tasting the food." And it's like, "Oh, are you with the Food Network? No, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm a very small town, and I joke and I look weird. And we're gonna do this. It's gonna be fun." And yeah, it was. I got a lot of rejections, and I'm sure I'll get a lot of rejections the second time too. But um, I think now we at least have some credibility from the first season, which is nice. Um, yeah. So, but I just want to be completely transparent about that. Um, I, I also, I wanted a little bit of feedback about something, something that's been on my mind. There were often times, not that I suppressed myself because I, I was always very honest. I never wanted to be at a place where I was lying to anyone but that I had more of a negative experience than maybe, and then maybe my emotions were larger than they actually appeared on camera uh, or that I told you guys about. And I'm wondering, do you want raw and real or do you want, okay, that's fine. Compose yourself and then give us a full, you know, detail. Cause like the airport diner, man, that was such a letdown. That guy was a jerk. You know, and I don't want to say that on this. You know, I didn't want to say it on the episode and everything. Guy was an absolute jerk. Um, he was just one of those business owners that thinks they rule the world. Um, I had, there was a restaurant, I'm not going to name it, but there's a restaurant in Leesport uh, who after, you know, they had first, they had just come out. It was a brand new restaurant. And, uh, you know, we, I talked to them and they were interested in doing the whole um I mean, just the whole Food Finds interview, they were so psyched about it. And then they were on the Reading Eagle, our local newspaper. And then I got a message back from them. They're like, yeah, we don't need any more publication. And it's like, that's not what I'm doing. I'm not just doing publication for, like, newspaper literally lasts maybe a week. And no one remembers what was on the front page, unless it was about you. But... YouTube, that's a huge deal. Uh, and that that business is out of business now, you know? And it's not that I'm happy about that, but it's like, okay. And, and I'm not even saying that even me making that video for them would have changed their perspective. I'm just saying, hey, listen, maybe we should give each other a chance. Um, but I, that's what I wanted to know. Do you guys want raw and real? Or do you want something more composed? Because... Uh, I would love to get into the, the you know, the, the idea that if, if I'm being treated badly, I should say so. I shouldn't just, you know, swallow my pride and like, but then there's also like, okay, professionalism exists. You, you sort of need to hold your tongue sometimes. There are many stories about food finds that I will always keep to myself. So I don't know. Um, but I think there, there, there always needs to be this essence of honesty, I think. And I hope you guys always expect that from me. Um, that's just something I guarantee that I, I want to do and I need to do. Um, yeah. So 
just leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. So, Food Find Season 2, I don't know if it'll be one host or several hosts. It could be a new host every single week. That would be fun. Me as the host with somebody to actually taste my food. Well, who knows? That, that would be really, really cool. Uh, but the ideas are out there, and I wanted to be transparent with you because I'm not super sure of what the future is. As I was editing the, you know, the year in review, I couldn't taste, and I was like, should I put this in? And I was like, yeah, I have to put it in because I need to do this, not only for me, but for the other small businesses that I want to cover. Uh, yeah, so like I said, leave a comment down in the description below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll have to see where we're at next week. Bye.